I don't know how this image is going to fare. Um, the light is moving in and out a little bit. I'm looking for the light to be more, a little bit more consistent on the left-hand side. There's a lot of clouds above me. I'm just waiting for it to peek a boo <laughs> from behind the cloud and capture the side of the staff though. It never really works like that. You usually have to wait a little bit. Patience, patience. So I'll uh, stand here until I get that picture. If the picture works out, uh, you'll see the image now. Uh, here on a nice little local part of uh, where I stay, it is very overcast. <coughs> the um, we've had haven't had any sun this morning, or we've had a lot of rain. But what I'm looking at just now is this tree in the backdrop here. You can see here. Um, obviously, it's too early in the season for any growth in the forest. The forest needs to just take time. Even though spring has sprung, we're still you know needing uh, you know trees to develop. A bit more quicker but that doesn't happen as you know it does take sometimes weeks even another month sometimes to get fully bloom in the forest but um, what I'm looking out for today is uh, moss and if you look at the side of this tree here it's just uh, it was like a nuclear waste it's like glowing on the tree uh, so I'm going to give that a go I'm going to try to photograph that frame it up see if it works and uh, we'll do it together so go to the back of the camera with me and let's have a look together and see if we can get this framed up into the shot I want. So this is the shot behind the camera guys and as you see there, histograms move to the left a little bit which is fine, it's not too bad. I mean I'm not really too fussed because I want to intact, intact the, uh, the blacksness but I can probably go up a little bit with that ISO possibly. So I'm just going to shift my ISO up to about 100 maybe, just do it to 100. So I'm just going to take uh, two shots of this 
uh, focus on the, the tree right in the middle there and focus on the lower branch if you can see that in the back of the camera just there shooting at f.45 f stop at 180th a uh, second for shutter speed which and yeah that's pretty much where i want it histograms looking nice and pretty right in the middle and at iso 100 let's see how it fares i'll pop the uh, image up on the screen Just a, a simple shot uh, in a, a woodland that's pretty much been saturated by the rain. Um, we're in a part of the season where it's kind of light and dark, and we catch uh, get up early in the morning to catch these stunning uh, love rays that come from the sky. You're not going to get um, really much uh, in, a, in a sense of photographing when it's kind of all pretty much the same light, light and dark. You can sometimes in, in late afternoon, I feel in woodlands when it's late. Um, about three o'clock, four o'clock. Now we're in the summer coming up, so maybe about six o'clock in the evening, seven o'clock. Yeah, I would say you know stay out a bit later. Uh, you'll get some lovely low-lying light across the woodland floor. It gives that kind of uh, ethereal look to the the magic of the woodland. Um, but this one is this one today has been pretty much been about making best what you go out in the conditions. Some people wouldn't go out. <laughs> some people wouldn't go out in conditions like this, you know. But I have. This shot I'm going to go for now is this one singular tree uh, in the in the water here, and I just focus as close as I can, and it's going to be in a one by one crop. So I'm going to look at the back of the camera. I'm going for a simple shot, and I like it to be nice and dark and contrasty, just to give that luminous light to the of course the uh, moss on the back of the tree there. So I'm, I'm kind of going to keep it to exposed, more to the left in the shot. Uh, I'm not really bothered about you know highlighting the background. It's merely what's in front of it. Because see, it's all about the tree here and the moss on the tree. So here goes. Let me know what you think of this shot. So I think I've got the best of I can get with that shot. The light seems to be a bit um, erratic. It's just going on in and out all the time. So I'm just going to actually walk a bit further into the forest and see if there's any other compositions I can get. And I'm hoping this light will uh, be a bit more kind of consistent. Let's say just get more, a uh, bit more, <laughs> less uh, shadows and more light. Uh, not too harsh. Not too harsh light. Just just the right light for uh, taking pictures, of course. So let's see how it fares. So when you're actually shooting into everyday boring light in the, the woods, don't be afraid to look out for something different and just try to look at the woodland as it is 
and what trees are straight, what trees are diagonal, what trees are interesting to shoot, and try to get a wide shot, so standing back, just like I'm going to do here, of this shot. It's not, a, it's not a winner, but there's a few interesting aspects of this shot, and I'm going to point out why. So I'm just going to show you what I'm shooting at. Now this is the image I'm going to take, and I'll shoot the back of the camera in a minute. But as you see, there's a lot of sky involved here, and there's a lot of dead foliage, bracken, etc., all dried up. And then in the back of it, you can see the lush of spring coming in back from these trees, possibly ripe red pine, etc., at the back there. So what I'm going to do is take the back of the camera, and we're going to minimise a lot of this. And I love how the slanted part of the tree coming down here, this pine, Scotch pine tree, I think it is. And then in the back, you've got all the greenery coming from the trees in the background there. But these trees in the background are showing a bit of spring coming towards. It's like a tide, almost like a tsunami of green uh, colour coming forward into this very, very looking like dry picture. And all the bracken and foliage is looking all dead. So you've got two ends of the spectrum here. Don't know what I'll call it yet. <laughs> you know, I know the names. Your guys are shouting out names just now, aren't you? So, yeah, um, I'm going to actually take the shot. Take it just to maybe focus on the foreground. Prominent tree in the, in the middle there. And then just maybe get the tree on the background there. It's just moving to one side. That will give me my two focus points that I only need in this shot. So we'll take it from there and see how it fares. So I'll put this image up on the screen, tell me if you like it, and leave a comment, let me know what you think. So apologies for not showing many videos this uh, last few months, and I've just mainly because I've been doing other things. Uh, the podcast is taking a little break just now. We'll be back then, of course. We'll be back, and that'll be mainly in July. Um, but in the meantime, I will be recording some videos, and hopefully, we should be putting videos out for podcasts as well as uh, doing these videos myself from here. So yeah, I will be putting more frequent videos out. Um, once a week so I'll record enough footage for you guys to see uh, I didn't have that luxury before because so much going on with the podcast getting things set up etc uh, but no that's all good it's all seems to be running well we've just ended our um, our first season or serious if you're in UK um, and it's we've had like guys on who are pretty much different types of landscape photographers even to the extreme we've incorporated ICM fine art photography into our podcast so we've uh, been quite excited with Stephanie Johnson being on and uh, Mads uh, Mads Peters Everson has been on as well of course epic uh, you know images where he actually uses himself in the image and he just got that kind of grand grandeur of scale how he actually does his images so worth all going to that channel it's Landscape Lenscast Podcast and uh, yeah uh, we'll all be back in July I think it's uh first couple of weeks in July we're back. So yeah, um, we'll, uh, we'll pretty much leave it here, using good, and uh, we'll see you on the next one for the Paul Cunningham Woodland Photography. And guys, if you enjoy these videos, uh, leave a comment, let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like, and just um, just tell me what you feel that the videos has given you uh, in regards to ideas of photographing, etc. And if I can give you any help with uh, any questions you've got, I will do that, of course. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one. And uh, cheery bye.